The last demonstration for the hand mixer uh, data set is uh, focused on the Solid Edge ST3 drafting environment. We're going to see some pretty powerful tools, whether you're uh, wanting to detail an assembly, an exploded view like we have here, or a single part, or, um, or dimensioning capabilities, of all of that built right into the draft environment. Again, a world-class uh, draft environment. So we'll go ahead and start on this uh, first sheet where we have the hand mixer assembly, and basically this is the uh, this is the motor inside uh, the hand mixer with a couple of added parts like the beaters and the switch up above. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the parts list capabilities that we have. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the parts list, and when you select the view, what it does is it attaches the default parts list to your cursor. If you want to make a change to that part list, which we do, we're going to go to the Properties dialog. And here you're going to see uh, some really nice capabilities. For example, general information. In this case, we're going to go and do a save setting. We've got one called Mixer, which basically saves some settings that we want to do for this particular demonstration. And then, of course, you can talk about each one of the titles. Maybe you want to add a title, uh, Mixer Assembly. Uh, to something of that nature. Columns, if you want to add any properties uh, to the columns, the default columns that are already there, you can easily do that. If you want to add something like maybe user defined, you can just simply click on the add and it's going to add it uh, to the columns list. Um, data, this shows you the data that's going to be placed in uh, the actual parts list itself. And you can see how the user defined uh, list has been added here. So in this case, we're talking about the, uh, back, the back motor mount frame. And so if I just come over here and say, uh, you know, maybe check, check dims. Uh, you know, some kind of a note that I want to put in there, we can do that. We have sorting capabilities. Uh, under options, all of the options for the parts list are on this one particular tab. <clears throat> you can sort um, items such as parts, pipes, pipe fittings, and even frame members. So it gives you a full complement of tools. And then finally, item number. If I come down and I change an item number, for example, I change the 8 to a 9, Notice what happens. It turns both of these red, meaning that they both can't be uh, the same number. And if you try to get out, it's going to say, well, you actually need to fix this problem. So if we come down and maybe change this one to 8, then it allows us to, to move forward. Of course, we've got list control, which we've had for a long time. And then, of course, if you want to change the text size for your balloons and the balloon shape, uh, that type of information. All this available in the parts uh, properties. Once we've set that up, we can come up and just simply click to place our parts list, and you'll notice that it also automatically balloons all of the parts for us. Now, as we zoom up on this parts list, there are some more things that we can do. You'll notice when I click on the parts list, it adds some little dots to, next to each one of the columns, and this just basically means that I can resize any one of these columns if I want to make it larger or smaller just so the information uh, looks the, the best that it can uh, in our parts list. You'll notice too that you can uh, obviously this was saved so you can change the font color uh, the uh, font type any of that information can be changed. Another thing to point out is when you place this uh, when the balloons are placed automatically, they might be placed off the sheet. You can just grab a balloon and you can re, uh, reorder it or move it, or you can simply grab the view and move it more to where it's in all of the uh, balloons are within the view where you want to, where you want them to be. If we want to uh, maybe even change a balloon number by picking on the balloon itself, now apologize uh, because of the resolution of the movie, the menu goes a little bit off the screen, but hopefully you can see I got the, the number 8 there, and if I change that to a 9, it's going to come up and tell you you've got a conflicting number just like it did in the past. So when I uh, click to accept it, it's going to swap the 8 and the 9 automatically and you can see that it, it did it swapped them back the way they used to be so we have full control here and the only other thing you do when you do change the number is you need to right mouse button click and just simply update the parts list so that the number reflects the exact part that it's looking at the next thing that we're going to take a look at is actually bringing um, 
This view set up what we refer to as a quick sheet template, which allows the user to drag in components, and they're always going to lay out the components in the same manner. And for this, we're going to go over to our uh, library, and under the working folder, you'll find a draft folder, and inside there, you'll find the components that I'm looking at. What I'm going to do is just simply grab the hand mixer body, and you'll notice the templates, the uh, views highlight automatically, and if I just drag and drop, it'll automatically go out and it's going to start looking uh, at the views and bring calculate their visibility to bring them into the file very quickly. Now if we zoom up on this top level, uh, the, the top view, I can uh, go to that particular view and I can go to its properties for that particular view. If I want to set up maybe a caption, maybe I want to add uh, mixer body uh, as its caption and I can also turn and show the scale I can change the scale of the view if I'd like, uh, and several other options, just some general options that I can set up. One of the neat things too is the display tab. The display tab allows the user to set up uh, hidden uh, edge style, um, the, what type of edge style they want for the hidden edge style, and you'll notice the different options that you can use here. We also have tangent edge style, uh, show all, fill style, different options depending how you want to see uh, your models. Again, a full complement of tools for just the view uh, itself, and all of this can be set up in a, um, a predefined template, so it's always the same every time you place your view. What I'm going to do with this particular sheet is take a look at cutting planes, section views, and detail views. So what we're going to do is focus in on this bottom uh, uh, bottom uh, part and I'm going to identify the cutting plane and when I do that I simply identify this uh, bottom view and it takes me into a sketch environment where I can sketch what I want uh, my cutting plane to, to be. In this case I just want a single line through the part and then I'm going to close the cutting plane and when I come out I can select the direction. Now I'm going to do the same thing again so by selecting that view and then what I want to do is zoom up because I want to pick the center point and I want to bring it all the way through so I'm going to kind of zoom out a little bit I want to bring it all the way through and then I'm going to get out of that line command because I want to come down and I want to get the bottom and get its center point and then I want to come all the way up through and of course I want to align it and so I can easily uh, create a jagged uh, line going through this part so when I come out again it gives us the option for the direction. At that point all I have to do is come up and grab the section view command click on that section or that cutting plane and place the view very quickly. Now these are associative uh, views so if the model changes all of these views will update 